Hello, Property Nomads. Hope you're well. Banking on BRICS the gold standard is more than likely to return in due course. And this is all thanks to the BRICS nations. They're meeting in South Africa in August of this year. And they could put the wheels in motion to something that could have a profound impact on the rest of the world. And that is the potential of a gold standard to come back. So where's this all come from? What's it all about? Uh, so for those of you that might be old enough to uh, remember, uh, Nixon took uh, the dollar off the gold standard in 1971. We basically ended up with uh, a floating currency mechanism. And since then, currency has been debased an awful lot. It's not pegged to gold. And we've had a lot of inflation. We've had a lot of uh, messing around, a lot of greed, a lot of you name it, it's happened. So that's led us to all sorts of difficulties, all sorts of challenges in the last 50 or so years. And the BRICS nations and Brazil, Russia, India, China, uh, South Africa, plus others have pretty much had enough of it. Uh, the US have been using the dollar as a weapon in more ways than one. And people are starting to rise up to that and say, enough is enough. This is getting a bit beyond a joke now. Let's go back and introduce some form of sound money system. Now, there's a great book, I think it's by Nathan Lewis. Um, it's like Gold, the Final Standard, I think it's called. Something along those lines. Go and check it out because that really dives into the history of gold. It touches a little bit on silver as well. If we look back through our history, one of the most interesting times for world prosperity was between about 1870 and, and 1914. Now, yes, there was a lot bubbling under the surface uh, that resulted in World War I. But if you look at the common characteristic of that era, gold standard. Inflation was minimal, to say the least, so averaging about 1% to 2%, I believe. And there was there was good general prosperity for the majority of the world. That's not the case, really, at the moment. And what is also the case is that the East, so we're talking China, we're talking India, the East are playing a game of chess, whereas us in the West, we're playing a game of drafts. We're taking very short moves, very reactionary moves to everything, trying to catch up with stuff that's already done. This is why we're seeing interest rates increase. This is why we're seeing a bunch of currency printing, which isn't good at all. And because our central banks, our people in charge, are very reactive rather than proactive. Whereas in the East, the philosophy is completely different. Uh, best example I like to give people is uh, the difference between price and value. If you're looking at the price of gold, a lot of people in the West will look at the price. So, oh, it's £1,500 today, or it's you know £1,600. Whereas in the East, they might not necessarily look at the price, but they'll look at the value of the gold. Well, what, what what's this value to me? Is it, am I getting something out of the system? Am I getting something that's not traceable? Am I getting something that's got no counterparty risk? Well, yes. And what's that value to me? Yeah, that that's it's priceless almost when you put it like that. So there's a big difference between West and East. Point being, East is looking at the long-term game. And finally, BRICS are seriously considering reintroducing a gold-backed reserve currency. Now, this doesn't mean it's going to happen overnight and the world's going to capitulate and all of that sort of stuff. Unlikely that's going to happen. But step by step, these things are being brought back, we could have some or almost a semblance of sanity back in the world when it comes to monetary policy. We'll see. We're on zero hedge anyway. Uh, so this is an article submitted by Quoth Ravens, Fringe Finance, a very good blog. I recommend you go and have a look at that. Uh, so BRICS are planning to introduce a new trading currency backed by gold at an August 
summit. I believe that's going to be in South Africa somewhere. And 41 countries have applied for BRICS membership. Basically, a lot of people are fed up with the US weaponizing the dollar. Uh, images plastered all over Russian media this weekend uh, have headlines like new money, new world. Gold standard will be of great benefit to strengthening new single currency. It's hard to disagree with that. So if you've got um, elasticity of currency supply that is then pegged to something, then you will have small fluctuations here and there, but it won't be as disastrous as having it pegged to nothing, and you can see all these hyperinflations and deflations, etc. So it's about creating a sound currency. It must be convertible into gold on demand. I'm not sure whether that is what Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa have in mind. But using gold as money, the unit of account would be a true game changer, no doubt about it. It would lead to a sharp devaluation of many fiat currencies vis-a-vis -vis the yellow metal and it would catapult up its prices in terms of fiat currencies. It would be a shock to the global fiat monetary system. Uh, although this guy's being slightly critical of it, I'm not sure this is what the BRICS wish to achieve. Um, no, probably not in the very short term, but it's a case of taking one step back to take two steps forward. Anytime there's a shock in, in the system, things go a bit weird don't they? And if it's a case of taking one step back, so prices go higher in in the short to medium term, so be it, because this could weigh itself out moving forward. I mean, ultimately, I don't know. And I'm not going to pretend to sit here and say that I know, probably like, you know, you don't know either. We don't really know until it happens. But the key thing is, with this podcast, is that these BRICS nations are sitting around and are discussing bringing this back. We've long said that having you know, coming off the gold standard was very bad for a multitude of different reasons. And people that are slightly older than myself uh, you know, lament the fact that we came off the gold standard in 1971. And can it be reintroduced? Yes, it can. Will it take time? Yes. Are there going to be bumps along the road? Yes. Will there be shocks to the system? Yes, absolutely. Key thing of this podcast is that these BRICS nations are sitting down and are discussing this. They are fed up of the, uh, the dollar being used as a, a weapon, as it has been used for the last 50 years. I'm not saying the US is crumbling. I might do. But every good empire, as we know from being British, every good empire or every empire, I should say, have, has its time. Uh, ours has been in gone. Uh, the US uh, certainly looks like they are on the decline and it's time to pass that baton on to somewhere else. There's a lot of macro, you know, extra macro bits and bobs, uh, loads of different rabbit holes that we could go into. Uh, that might create a two hour podcast and uh, that's not for this episode, but it's something we can look at moving forward. Uh, the key thing is the BRICS nations are looking to bring back the gold standard they're looking to introduce gold back reserve currency in order to challenge the dollar in the long run that's going to have a profound impact on a multitude of things so it really is a case of watch this space as always thank you for listening to property nomads please do like and subscribe to the podcast if you're on youtube press that like button and the notification bell to get alerted when new videos come out and please spread this podcast the youtube channel uh, with everyone that you know We've got a lot of content coming out a lot of really good useful content and the more people that get to hear about this and more people that know about it the better it is for everyone so please uh, please do share and thank you in advance for sharing we'll see you in the next video